Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about moving around because that's one of the most important things you can do. Today, we're going to be using a three button mouse, which looks like this. And if you're not using a three button mouse, do not worry. The next video, we'll talk about how to use Blender on a laptop or a trackpad. We'll even be talking about using a 3D space mouse if anyone out there is using those. And uh, so let's get started. So go ahead and fire up Blender and open up our project Blender UI. And here we are with the little monkey and we are very close to Suzanne monkey's face here. So we already learned in the earlier video that you can use this cute little widget here to move around and orbit just by clicking in there. You can also click on the X and the Y's and the Z's and these other ones here to flip really quickly to different positions um, in your blender scene. But if you click in the gray, like we said, you know, you'll move around. That's all cool and everything. You've also got the zoom buttons and the hands that we already learned, but I want to teach you how to do it faster and better and more professionally. So the way to do that, let me turn on my shortcuts here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is the three button mouse right here. So if you have a three button mouse, watch right here. If you're not sure what I'm doing, it's pretty, um, pretty easy, but all you have to do to orbit you know, kind of like this is just push in that middle mouse wheel, like actually push in the wheel and that will let you grab your monkey there. And if your zooms like way far here and, um, you know, you can press period on the numpad or go to view frame selected Boop. and then just press in that middle mouse button. So everybody go ahead and try that. If you haven't, you want to get really used to moving around all the time. And then if you want to uh, zoom, which is, you know, kind of like this little guy, like we were doing with the button, all you have to do is hold control and push in the middle mouse wheel. And that will let you zoom in a very slow and controlled way. And you may be saying, "What? Well, but Jason, can I just use my mouse wheel? Yes, of course you can. But the difference is, see how like quick, that's my middle mouse wheel. It's very fast. And it's like, whoa, sorry if I'm making you nauseous there, but with control and middle mouse wheel, it's very nice and slow, like a dolly move of a cinematic feature film. Um, so that's what I want you to get used to doing that. So everybody hold control and click your middle mouse wheel like that. Do some zooming. And next we have this little hand, which is called the pan. So again, you can always click on this little button, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to get comfortable using your keyboard. So to do that, I want you to hold shift and then press your middle mouse wheel. Looky there, we are doing the same thing. We are panning left and right, up and down. It's almost like if you were grabbing the entire scene and just jerking it around. So that is what those do. So that is pretty much all for this video. I just wanted you to know how to orbit with the middle mouse, control middle mouse to slowly zoom, and shift middle mouse to pan. So the challenge for the video is just make sure you know how to move all around, you know, try to try to zoom, try to pan, try to orbit. I want you to just try this for a while because the better you are at this, the better designer you're going to be. And you're always going to be switching your view around. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was teaching kids is that they would never move their view. They would like be designing something from one angle because they're used to looking at 2D things all the time, um, which is fair. But whenever they would go to like move it once, something they thought was happening right beside their monkey head was actually way back here. So um, just always get in the practice of moving. That's my spiel. And let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to talk about how to move with a two button mouse or a normal mouse or a trackpad or a laptop. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in it. <laughs> 